So this is B11. <clears throat> B11 is a little bit of a different assembly than it looks like because of the way that the English paper piecing kit works out. If you look on the back of the paper piecing kit, it says B11, the entire block was shrunk slightly to applique onto a four and a half inch square. So what that means is this square in the back here is a solid piece. So everything from this curved edge inward is actually going to be pieced and then we're going to attach that whole circle assembly to the four and a half inch square. That way it makes it a little bit more stable. So then when we go to assemble it, we're going to start from here. Okay, so this is my four and a half inch square that I'm going to set aside until the very end. And so what we have here is a, we're going to start with these sectionals. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to start with these here. Okay, so let me put this down. I'm going to make these pie pieces. So I've got the triangle, the this triangle, and then this, and then this curved piece. I'm going to make these pie pieces, and then we're going to assemble them into this section. So I'm going to assemble each one of these. Then I can connect them with the bars, either this way or this way, into two rows. And then I'm going to be able to assemble this narrow row, and then connect the two halves. So that's how this is going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work with one section at a time so I don't get too ahead of myself. So I'm going to base this and I'm going to base this legs first then the hypotenuse so the tags go towards these bars. These I always base the short sides first then the long side and the curved edges I'm going to glue base the straight edge and then gathering stitch based this edge, which means I do a gathering stitch around the outside edge and then I come back and thread baste it with my stiletto. I pull it really tight against the edge and I thread baste it back the other way so that it stays tight and down. And then I'll put these three together, then I'll go to these next pieces and then I can assemble them into two sections, make this row and then put those together. So let's get started with one of the pie pieces. So I've got this one corner basted, and I've done my gathering stitch basting on this one. These I've done the straight edge on all three, because I'm going to go through and do the gathering stitch on the other three as well right now, just because I've already got the needle out and stuff, so that, that way I can just get them done all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these other three corners, and then I'll put these this pie piece together. So I've got all of my edge pieces with the gathering stitch basting completed, and I've also assembled my pie piece. Now, when I was doing this, when you put this here, it's not complete, this, this angle right here on this piece, you're not gonna get an exact point from your fold on your fabric. So what I do is I will center this section along this section so that if it is off a little bit, it's off evenly on either side, and it will blend in once I do this seam here. Once I attach this to the side of it, it'll be good to go. It's just a matter of getting it centered. The same thing with this. Because these tags come down around this, and these come down, because I did the longest side last, so it goes away from this, it was a little, it kind of nests, but you want to make sure that, because it's not exactly exact, so I did the same thing here, is I'll center it on the seam, on the purple versus the black. So next thing to do is to make pie pieces of the rest of them, but right now I'm going to go ahead and just do this one next. So I've completed this other pie piece. Now I'm going to base this bar and connect them into one half of the circle. So I've got this side of the circle completed. Next, I'm going to repeat that entire process and put this side together. Okay, so I've assembled the second section. So I've got two of the same, just opposite. Next thing to do is to baste and attach this row together. So I've assembled this center row and now I'm going to connect it to both halves. 
So I've attached both pieces to the middle section. And now I have this whole circle is completed. Now it's a matter of putting this on the square, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna mark the center of every side first. Make sure that I get the center of this bar on each side in the center right at that mark. And then I'm gonna put this bar right on the edge because I know that I'm gonna have to, this is gonna be a little dimensional because it is a little bigger because you're piecing you're piecing this. So it, it does the natural growth thing. So it should be a little bigger, which means it'll just pu it'll pu pucker up, not anywhere near that bad, but that's the idea. So I'm gonna staple it down, but I'm gonna make sure that I put my bars right on that edge, wherever I'm gonna make that mark. And then I'll go to the next side and do the same thing and then move it in and all that. So I've attached this to the square and um, I'm going to go around and clean up these edges. I have not taken out my basting on the edge because I haven't connected it down. And uh, when I do my basting, I have the knots on top. So all I do is pull it all out from the top. That's why it doesn't matter if it's applique down or not. So I'm going to go ahead and applique this down to the square and then I can remove my staples and my basting. So I've appliqued this down to my square, removed my staples and my basting, and my B11 block has been completed.